Jake here for American Trucks, and in this video, we're taking a look at the AFE Apollo GT Series 3-inch muffler upgrade fitting 2019 and newer 5.3 liter Sierra 1500s. If you want more sound out of your Sierra, but the thought of shelling out all that cash for a full exhaust system turns your stomach, then the AFE Apollo GT muffler here is gonna be just your speed. This is gonna give you the aggressive sound that you're after without the complication of having to get a custom exhaust done, spend a ton of cash on a full cat back, and you can also be sure that it's gonna work right out of the gate. Now, as far as volume goes, this isn't gonna be too noisy either. We're gonna give this one a three out of five on our loudness meter, which is, in my opinion, that perfect Goldilocks middle ground. It's enough to make a difference for you, but it's not gonna get your neighbors in a twist. Now, when it comes right down to it, the biggest difference in exhaust systems, be it how they sound or how they flow, is heavily dependent on the muffler. Tossing your factory muffler in favor of a straight pipe might get you more volume, but there won't be any control over the sound. It might be just a little too much. Whereas going for a full-on catback exhaust will likely be more tolerable for a daily driver, but you're gonna have to shell out a lot more pennies to get one of those. You could also go the custom route, but that adds its own complications. Enter then the Apollo GT muffler upgrade. Two cuts and you can replace your factory muffler with this more free flowing unit from exhaust and intake specialist AFE. Now this is gonna give you more of that throaty V8 sound you'd expect from a small block Chevy engine, but keep things a bit more subdued than a full on straight pipe. Now that means of course that's gonna be louder outside and of course more noise outside means more noise inside the cabin, but it's also gonna be more than tolerable. Now as you heard from the clips at the start of the video, it is certainly louder inside, but it's just a nice low rumble. So you can still carry on a conversation or listen to some music without it being overbearing. And if you put a lot of miles on your truck, you'll appreciate that as well, cause you'll still get that nice little V8 thrum without all kinds of drone. And again, this has got a quite a bit of baffling in it despite being more free flowing. So it's gonna do a good job of muffling that exhaust sound a bit without absolutely killing it like the stock one does. And I think now is a good point to talk about construction. Now the muffler and the piping that are included in the kit are made from 409 grade stainless steel, making it a good compromise between cost and protection. Now it's still gonna do pretty well to resist rust and corrosion, and this is a mandrel bent pipe, so it makes for smooth flow and easy installation as well. And in fact, the muffler is actually pretty nice. You get this tack welded on AFE logo and all the welds around the casing look pretty good too. This also comes with all the clamps that you need to get it installed, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. Pricing is perhaps the best part of this kit though, as it's only gonna run you about $275. And that is one of the least expensive upgrades you can make to your exhaust. Now, while it may not be as fancy as a full custom exhaust or that really expensive T304 stainless cat back, this is gonna get the job done. It's gonna be very similar in construction to your factory exhaust, and it's gonna do everything you want for a lot less than other muffled exhaust options. It's a really great choice if you want the sound, but you really don't wanna pay the price, and I am in full support of a modification like this. In fact, I think I'd like to put this on one of my own trucks. Installation is about the only place where you'll have to sacrifice. We are going to give this one a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and the job should take you about an hour to complete. Now the difficulty is a bit higher here than you might expect, but that is simply because you are going to have to cut your stock muffler out. However, it is only two cuts, one before the muffler and one right after it. Once you've got that done, this just pops right in using the supplied clamps and the inlet pipe. So shouldn't take you too much time. With that though, let's hand things over to one of our AT customers who will walk you through the process. Hey, today we're going to be installing a AFE Power GT Series muffler replacement on a 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 with the 5.3 liter engine. The tools you will need today will be a set of jack stands, a pair of safety glasses, a tape measure, safety gloves, a Sharpie marker, a reciprocating saw, a impact driver with a 15 millimeter socket, some emery cloth, and a torque wrench. Okay, so first we wanna mark right in front the weld line is where we're gonna cut in front the muffler. I'll put you a few marks there. All right, and behind the muffler, we're going to mark two and three quarters from the weld. That's going to be right there. 
I'm gonna put a few marks. Okay. okay, so now we're going to replace some jack stands underneath the muffler to support it. Now we're going to use the reciprocating saw to cut along this line to two and three quarter inches from the back of the weld. Okay, now we're going to cut right before the weld in front of the muffler. Now we can remove the old stock muffler. Okay, what we're going to do now is clean up the edges where we cut the muffler off. I'm gonna use my emery cloth. We wanna make sure these edges are clean from any burrs, so that way you don't have any exhaust leaks. It feels good to me. Again, always remember to have safety glasses on when doing this so you don't get any metal flakes in your eyes. Okay, now we're going to install the new muffler. Your extension pipe, you want to install that first with the 2.3 quarter band clamp. Slide that on first. Notice that the cut is going to be where your clamp goes. You would slide this over the end of the tailpipe. Turn it down, facing down. You want the angle to be bent down. And you want to take your muffler. Now this is the single centered um, outlet. And this is going to be the three inch band clamp. So make sure you put that on before you slide the muffler over. Slide it as far back as you can. Then on the front of the muffler, you want to install your two and three quarter band clamp. As you slide this as far back as you can, then you can get the front of your exhaust pipe into the front of the muffler. Then you want to slide it back to the front all the way until it hits the valve. to the back end. You can straighten up the extension pipe. And you want to make sure that you don't see any gaps in the uh, slices and the slots. That way you know it's covering and you won't have any leaks. All right. That looks good to me. You want to get your drill with your 15 millimeter socket and snug these down. Make sure your muffler is flat and straight and aligned properly. Look 
good. I'm take the front one a little bit more. I need my jack stand to hold this right. And once we do that, we're going to torque it at 40 to 45 pounds. We'll set my torque wrench at 45. We're going to start at the front. I'm going to lower my torque wrench to 40 pounds. 40 foot pounds. That's 40, 40 foot pounds torque there. All right, that's 40 foot pounds on that one. That's 40 foot pounds on that one in the front. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the AFE Apollo GT Series 3-inch muffler upgrade fitting 2019 and newer 5.3 liter Sierra 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, for all things Sierra, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.